In this video tutorial, we will explore a Shampoo Music Studio 11. We will primarily focus on the new recording feature, which allows you to easily record from Spotify, Deezer, and Amazon Music in high quality. If you're interested in learning about more features of the Music Studio, you can find links to additional tutorials in the description below. Enjoy watching. I started the program and activated the record function. You can now choose whether you want to make recordings using your connected microphone or record from programs like Spotify, YouTube, or other applications. We want to demonstrate recordings through apps here, so I will now proceed to apps and audio. On the right side, you can now select the folder where you want to save the recording. Additionally, you can set a file name for the recordings here. The last setting allows you to define the file format and quality. In my example, I am now only changing the file name. Under the Recordable Apps tab, you will now find a list of applications from which you can start recording. For better results, please use the apps and programs provided by the developers instead of the web browser versions. In my example, I want to record from Spotify. To do this, I have started the Spotify app. It then appears in the list of recordable apps. This has the advantage that potential system sounds from other applications, such as email notifications or advertisement videos, will not be included in the recording. However, this cannot be avoided with YouTube recordings. A solution would be to use two different browsers for recording and simultaneous browsing. Next, click on the microphone icon and the window will switch to recording mode, allowing you to start the actual recording. You can begin recording in the next step by clicking on the large microphone icon. The program will then enter a standby mode, giving you time to press the play button on Spotify at your convenience. The recording will start as soon as any sound is played through the application. The recording will end when you press the microphone icon again. The recorded file can then be played in the same window. Additionally, you can change the file name here after recording. You can also adjust the metadata, which includes information about titles, artists, albums, or the cover. The cover can be loaded from a local file or newly embedded via an internet cover search. By clicking Next, I complete the recording through the app. As another example, I want to record the audio from a YouTube video. For this, I open YouTube in my web browser, which is Chrome in my case. Then, I find the desired video, switch back to Music Studio, and assign a new file name. Now, I click on Chrome.exe and start the recording by clicking on the microphone. Then, I switch to Chrome and start the video. As soon as the audio plays, the recording begins. The recorded file will then be displayed on the right side and can be listened to immediately if desired. So, that was the brief introduction to the new recording feature in Ashampoo Music Studio 11. We hope you enjoy using the program. Thank you for watching. If you want more features of the Music Studio Explained, you can find some links in the description below. If you liked the video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new videos. Goodbye, until next time.